So I'm having the same issue that I had when I picked up the car. So I went to see the car on a Saturday and I came back on a Wednesday. And when I got there, whenever I turned the key, guess what? Absolutely nothing. There's no electrical power in the entire car. So that means it could be one of three things. It could be the battery, it could be the alternator, or it could be a parasitic draw. So I'm thinking it's either the battery or it's a parasitic draw because when we jumped it, I drove the car 45 minutes home and it didn't die again. So I'm thinking it charges fine, it just, it's just the battery just might not hold a charge. So now if you look right here, it's from 2011, most batteries last for about four years. So it might just be time for that battery to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and then bring it home and charge it up and see how long it lasts. Now, honest goodness truth, I don't expect it to last just because, I mean, the car can sit for 12 hours and have a completely dead battery. So yeah, let's get the battery out. So on a C4, you have to take out this panel right here to get the battery out, but what is also typical on a C4 is dumb people that have no idea what they're doing. So there's a bolt here, 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 and then one on top to get this panel off. And of course, the person who had the car before me, or two people or three people ago, didn't realize how to get it off, so they just kind of ripped it off. So it was really only being held on by two bolts. I'm hoping to be able to fix that um, later, but just, you know, dumb people, man. All right, I've charged the battery, and we have 12.6 volts, give or take. So what I'm going to do is leave this on the bench for a day and see when I come back if it still holds a charge. If it does, then it should be a good battery. If not, then it looks like we might have to replace it. i got a couple more tests I can do uh, with the battery in the car, but I'm thinking this one's toast. So we'll see. Alright, we have the car running. We're going to switch this to DC volts. And I'm going to attempt to do this in one hand again. It's really hard to do with one hand. Got up to 14 at one point. There it is. So, that's weird. Might just be dirty connections, bad cable, I don't know. But all my tests have shown good alternator, okay battery, and um, no parasitic draw. What we're going to do now is, we drove, as you saw earlier in the video, we drove the car around, now the car has been sitting for at least 24 hours and the battery should still be fully charged so let's check out the readout on the dash and see what it says so right now it's at 11.6 so i'm thinking the battery is just toast i just don't i think it's old enough that it's not gonna be able to hold a charge so i'm gonna go ahead and get myself a new one Here is the new battery. So I want to show you guys behind the battery on the frame rail. If you look down in there, right there, that right there is a ground that you should clean if you ever have to take your battery out. It's just a lot easier to get to it with the battery out of the way. Um, another thing I want to show you guys is how to take this panel off because whoever had the car before me didn't realize how. So there's a bolt connection here, here, and here. There's one up top. There's also one right here that you can get with a ratcheting wrench. And you can tell the person before me decided just to rip the panel off in order to get the battery out. So don't do that and take it off right. Remember the uh, panel that I said people ripped off? So this was my fix for it. I bought this. Well, I bought the target top for it, and I haven't put that in a video yet, but this came with it. So this was a good uh, panel from same era of car. And what I did was I cut the pieces out that I needed, mostly it was this one, and then I took them over here 
and then JB welded them in. Now you guys might think, oh, this is Bubba, but you know what? It's free, and when I'm all said and done, no one will be able to tell. Since this is inside the fender lip right here, and that's underneath the car, I'll be good. So that way, I'm able to keep my white one, and I don't have a random black panel on the car. So that can now go in the garbage, and now I have a good fixed attachable battery cover. Here we are with the piece that I repaired. As you can see along this edge, you can't really tell that I repaired it. Maybe a little bit right there, but nobody looks down there. The more important repair was actually down here. If you look up there, you can see it, but you can't see it from the outside. So this, when you put it on, you have to remember there's a bolt here, there's three up here, and then there's one right here on the top. So when you put it on, try to get your your trim straight all the way across and also make sure your door does not hit um, the panel. The reason why I say that is because if we go around to the other side of the car someone didn't put this one on as well. One it's flopping around so I might have to repair that one too but also you can see right here where the door has been hitting it. So if I open this door if I unlock the door and then open the door It rubs. So let's get that fixed. Since we're doing the other side, we might as well do this side. All right, we got this side off. Let me show you this piece. This is what it's supposed to look like. So all those three clips are supposed to be like that. That metal top clip, and then this one's supposed to be slotted. So, honest goodness truth, when you take these off, this one just gets loosened, and then it slides. The, the piece slides out. So, I mean, some people just don't know, but. This has a little bit of damage on it, but I think it'll be okay once we bolt it all together. But it, we just need to make sure that it doesn't clip right there, because that was the issue. Alright guys, to finish up this video, Digi Dash. Oh yeah. Digi Dash.